Hi there, my name is Brother Clark. I'm the brother of Brother Thomas. We're brothers. I'm so glad you could join us on today's tour. Did you bring all your valuables with you? Ah, yes, perfect. So today, I will be listing five secret enemies in Fallout 4. Let's go find them, shall we? Starting off with number 5, we have Wayne Gorski. You can find him at the Gorski Cabin, southeast of the Abernathy Farms. When you get there, it's just a small, regular cabin. Uh, there's some ghouls surrounding the place, nothing too special. But when you go inside, you realize that there's a cellar hatch. And if you go down and then follow the tunnel, in a highly irradiated room, there's a feral ghoul known as Wayne Gorski. And right when you open the door, he's gonna start attacking you. Now, by reading his terminal, you'll learn that before the Great War, this was a man who was so upset by the construction of an electrical tower right outside of his cabin. You see, he believed that it was a mind control device set up by the government and so he was in the process of building a bomb from the components of a mini-nuke to destroy it. And the reason he wrote all this down in his terminal was so that someone could learn of his story in case he was ever killed or captured by the government. Hundreds of years later, that's when you show up. Number four, we have the Sneaky Mirelurk King. So he can be found at the odd mausoleum type uh, shrine in between the Natick Police Department and the Coast Guard Pier. So when you walk inside, there's dirt everywhere, there's fungus in the walls, but then on the ground, placed in the very center of a, of a small dais, is one lone Mirelurk egg. So of course you don't usually care about these things, but when they're placed like that, oh, you just have to touch it. So you do, and that's what sets off the Mirelurk King. When you turn around, a blast of disturbed air is about to smack you in the face, and it's been sounded by the beast itself. Self. He's caught you red-handed trying to steal his egg. Now it's up to you to walk out of there alive. Number three, we have Deadeye, the blind super mutant. So he can be found on a small stage inside a fraternal post 115. When you find him, he's just standing there listening to Diamond City Radio, planning an attack perhaps, maybe telling the other super mutants what we're all up to. Maybe because of his impediment, he's now used as the brains of the group. However, what you want to do is try using his blindness as an advantage for yourself. Try sneaking up on him and then taking him out as quick as you can, because if you do make him aware of your position, he's going to sound an alarm that's going to spawn even more super mutants to then attack you, and he does have very good ears, so where he loses one strength, he finds other ways to be very deadly. Number two, we have a creature who takes hiding to the next level. It's the giant hermit crab that can be found in the Far Harbor DLC. Now, there are several locations you can encounter one of these, but for this video, I'm going to use the one at Eden Meadows Cinemas. Now, these are creatures that are literally so big they can't even fit inside of regular shells. Instead, they climb inside of large vehicles, and this creates just a terrible conflict because one, they have tremendous defenses, and two, they can easily disguise themselves on made roads. Then when, you know, someone walks by, it's very easy to jump out and rip off their head. Now, they are slow, but they do have a solution for that. If you get too far away, they're gonna shoot out hatchlings to chase you down and then bite at your legs. And nowhere in their sight, essentially, are you safe. So my advice is this, careful when you're looting cars. It might not be a new sword that you grabbed, it might just be an antenna. And number one, we have Reggie Blateria. He can be found in a destroyed building west of the Corvega Assembly Plant. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get him to spawn. You do have to be a certain level. But um, as you approach, you can see him. And then surrounding him, the small army that he happens to be building. Is it an army of ghouls? An army of wolves, maybe? No, it is, in fact, a small army of rad roaches. Somehow he's managed to tame them and use them for battle. In fact, you know, he probably sees himself as the king of roaches. And what's funny about this is that his character, it's a cheeky reference to the Roach King back in Fallout 3, who is also building an army of roaches. So it seems the idea really has been catching on. It's just too bad that, you know, in both cases, your tiny scuttling friends were not enough to save you. And there you have it, five secret enemies in Fallout 4. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, what hidden enemy would you also add to my list? All right, thank you very much for watching, and... Oh, wait, you're still alive? Brother Thomas wanted me to lead you to certain death. Oh, I'm, I mean, why don't you stop by the amphitheater sometime? We really can make your life worth living.